It was a, uh, a date. Things didn't work out, and he pulled a gun on me. I just told him, shoot me and put me out of my misery. That, that's how bad I wanted to die. As a young woman, Sharon Dutra had an intense self-loathing born out of all the rejection she experienced. What I remember of my mother was that she worked nights, and so she had a daughter from a previous marriage who babysat uh, me, but she was, you know, drinking and partying while she was supposed to be babysitting me. And the next morning, my mother sat us down, and that's when she said, I'm going to have to put you in foster care. I never saw her again. When Sharon got older, she began using drugs. I got in with the wrong crowd, but it also helped me just to kind of not feel. And there was so much betrayal and abandonment, rejection. Her self-hatred manifested in other ways as well. A few times I started hitting myself, like just trying to be in pain in my body so that I didn't have to be in pain in my mind, in my heart, my spirit. Sharon's father struggled with alcohol and remarried several times. As a result, Sharon was in and out of foster care. I would go live with them, then they would get a divorce, and I would go back to foster care. So wherever I was, it wasn't settled. I didn't feel safe, I didn't feel secure, and, and I didn't feel wanted. Her drug use increased. I used intravenous drugs for six and a half years and then I smoked uh, crack for two years. It made me feel like uh, I had some control over my life. And it also took me away from the pain that I was feeling and the situation that I was in. I had developed by then a sort of uh, exterior persona that I was tough and I could make it through and nobody's gonna hurt me again. By age 15, she was living on the streets, seeking acceptance wherever and from whomever she could. I was raped a couple of times. That was pretty devastating. It almost felt like I was such a bad person and I was so unworthy that someone hurting me wasn't out of the question. Sharon married and had two children before she was 20 but the marriage failed. I used to tell them, I'm never gonna leave you like my mother left me. And I believed that at the time. But my ex-husband and I uh, were in an abusive relationship, so I ended up going back to the streets. To support herself, Sharon got into prostitution. One evening, while on a date, Sharon had a gun pulled on her by a customer. I seriously wanted him to pull the trigger take me out of my misery. And he ended up just leaving. She was arrested 13 times before she was 29 for charges ranging from prostitution to breaking and entering. While at the California Institution for Women, she started reading a book she thought was about Al Capone. It was about a gangster, Al Capone's uh, gangster chauffeur. And he had had people killed and killed people and he went to prison and he accepted Christ there. Of course, he had done things a lot worse than I had, but there was such a parallel there of brokenness, that realization that our sin is so great and God is so wonderful. And it reached my heart. When I finished that book, I just got down on my knees and I just, it all poured out. I just wept and I accepted Christ right there on the floor. And uh, it completely, radically changed my life. I realized how much God loved me, and I realized that he forgave me for what I did. Sharon spent the rest of her time in prison ministering to other inmates. I wanted to help other women who were broken as well. And I became a song leader in the chapel, and I, uh, the chaplain, bought me a Bible with his own money. And I read that uh, New American Standard Bible every day for hours. I just, it was truth, life, light. It was power. They saw that I was a new person. And I don't think they understood it, but they saw it. When she was released, Sharon plugged into a local church. 
they accepted me, um, nurtured me, discipled me, and uh, then 10 months later, I met my beautiful husband, Michael. Today, she writes about her experiences. Sharon's book helps minister to women in Southern California. We started the ministry, Be Transform Ministries, and we have, it has grown exponentially. We're in different countries, different languages, and now I've written three uh, books all together. It is so amazing. God loves to take the broken and heal it and use it, uh, use us for His purposes. And we all have a story of uh, the way God uses us. He reaches us in that special way, and then He uses us so that we can reach others for Him, no matter how dark, no matter how broken, no matter how used and abused you are. God can definitely take your life and heal you and bring you into relationship with Him.